How do you go from this to this by simply changing one setting? That's what I'm going to show you today. Let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So you've gone grocery shopping and you've come home and there are loads of items all which need to be carried inside. Which would you rather do? Carry each item individually or stick them into a carrier bag? Well, most of us will prefer fewer trips to and from the car, so loads of items in a carrier bag is faster and more efficient. The only thing we need to really worry about is overloading the bag as things will fall out and basically we would have to make more trips again. This is how our computers work too. Bits and data are sent and received and together they make up whatever it is we happen to be doing online. Most of us get our computer simply connected to the router and modem, open a website, internet seems to be loading, so it's all working. Sure, technically it's working, but it's not optimized. It's like making those separate trips to and from the car to get each item individually versus using the bag. So how do we make our computers as efficient as carrying items in a bag? Well, we do that by telling our computers to pack loads of data into a big bag and make fewer trips. And we do that by increasing the size of the MTU, the maximum transmission unit. This is done in two steps. Step number one is to find out what is the maximum data packet our computer can handle, as we don't want to overfill our data packet. If we do, just like the carrier bag, items are gonna drop out, in other words, data is gonna drop out, and it's gonna require more trips. Once we have that, we move on to step number two, which is to tell our computer, hey, use this as the MTU size. Don't worry, both of these steps are super simple, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Right, let's start off with a baseline. So first I'm gonna show you that my ethernet is currently set to 576 MTU. So based on that, let's run the good old speed test. What are we gonna get on that? Ping, nine milliseconds, that's pretty good. The download speed is 140, 150 megabits per second. Bear in mind, I'm on a 450 megabits per second line. And what's the upload? 16.73, my upload cap is at 20. So clearly, I'm not getting the speed that I'm paying for. So let's begin the test to see how I can optimize my system. All right, so step number one. How do you find out what is the right MTU size for you and your computer, as all our computers are gonna be slightly different? Well, we're gonna do that using the good old ping command. The ping command is basically just says to a website, hey website, are you there? Please reply with your IP address. So ping google.com and Google replies with its IP address. So what we're gonna do is use that command to send the biggest ping and either one of two things will happen. Either one, we'll get a message back from the website saying everything is good, or we'll get a message back saying uh, the data is fragmented, which means, whoops, too much data in our bag, and we'll have to try a smaller ping until it works. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, fire up your computer, type in CMD in the search, right click on that, and then choose run as administrator. What we're gonna do now is type ping google.com minus F, which essentially means don't fragment the packet size. And then we're gonna say minus L and put a byte size. That is the maximum byte size, our big packet that we're gonna send through. And essentially what we're looking for is this, fragmented. In other words, 100% loss. This is, the packet is just way too big. Our system's not handling it. What do we do? We reduce it by 10. 1482 instead of 1492. Are we still getting the error message? Yes, we are. Reduce it by 10 again. 1472. Oh, look at this. Now we're getting a response, which means this is the big packet size. It's not fragmented and 0% loss. This is a winner. Let's see if we can get it any bigger. And now we're going to increase it by increments of 1, 1473. And now we can see all oh, fragmented again. So now we know on this system, 1472 is the maximum packet size, the maximum bag, carrier bag that we were speaking about earlier before the packet starts getting fragmented. So what's next? What we do, fire up a calculator, take one, four, seven, two, and then you have to add 28. So whatever your number is, add 28 to that, and that's gonna give you the MTU size that you can use. 
Right, now on to step number two. Now that we have the right size of the MTU, well, the next step is to tell our system to actually use it. Ideally, you should set this at your router level so that everything on your network can use this MTU. I say ideally as uh, some routers don't have that facility. Now, if your router doesn't have that, don't worry, I'm also gonna show you how to manually set this on your computer. Let's start with the router option. To set it on your router, first you have to access the router's admin console. Typically, this info is listed on the bottom of your router and it's how you set up your router in the first place. Now, if you don't have that info, here is what you can do. Okay, let's get you into your router. So type CMD again. This time you don't have to right click, you can just open it and type IP config. And what we're looking for is something called the default gateway and they'll have an IP address, 192.168.1.1. Now, of course, yours might be slightly different. So whatever your gateway IP address, make a note of that because we're gonna need it for the next step. Open your web browser, type in the IP address that you got, your default gateway, and that should take you to the router login. And what you're looking for somewhere deep within your settings is the ability to manually set the MTU. See how mine says auto? I'm gonna switch it to manual, and there we go. That 1500 that we spoke about earlier, I'm gonna put that in there and then click on apply. Now, everything that's connected through my router is gonna get that setting. Now, if your router doesn't have this feature anywhere, let me show you how you can set it on your computer. And yes, you're gonna have to do this on each computer on your network. If your router doesn't have that settings in your windows, go to the search, type CMD, right click on that command prompt and click on run as administrator. Now in the description, you'll see this particular line and remember, change the MTU to whatever MTU size that works on your system. And then press enter and it will give you this little okay. You can also use this command to actually show you that it actually worked. So there is my ethernet. And then as you can see on the left hand side, there is 1500, which means I've just updated the MTU to 1500. Now let's assume you don't have ethernet or you want to update your Wi-Fi as well. No problem. It is the same line as before. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to change instead of ethernet, we're going to use the word Wi-Fi and the MTU. We're going to set it at 1500 press enter to get the okay run that command to see if everything has been changed and there it is wi-fi is now set at 1500 simple stuff now all that remains to do is a final speed test to see how much difference this mtu can make well, already we can see a clear difference look at that the download is now sitting at 459 megabits per second as a download the upload is a very healthy over 20 megabits per second there is your proof, MTU does make a difference. Go and optimize your system. Just another tip to get you and your Wi-Fi internet faster and better. If you want more videos, check out these videos down here on this topic. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.